Hi, John here from RotacRepair.ca. Thanks for tuning in again today. Welcome back to the channel. This is the cylinder head from the 582 that had the unusual cooling system on it where it had overheated to the point that it nearly uh, seized up. The cylinder head is actually worked this way. So I, uh, I'm gonna go through the process of, well, first off, how do I check it? And then how do I fix it? How do I repair this? We don't wanna throw the head away uh, because it's a little bit warped. Let's fix it and use it again. So follow along and I'll show you how I do it. I just took it over and had it on the surface plate with some really fine paper because of course I always check to make sure all the heads are straight. I think you can see on the, right here, I've already rubbed it a bit on the surface plate and it looks clean here and clean here. Not very much right here and it hasn't even touched in the middle uh, in this area here. So this head is, is warped where it's like this. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna have to do is uh, spend some time over at the at the surface plate and um, and keep him rub this on the real fine paper until I can get it till it's flat um, if it's really bad I could put it on the milling machine and mill it but I don't think uh, I'll have to do that so what I'm gonna do is I'll just put some magic marker spots on in here of course right there it touches and here it touches this is a little rough right here a little bit of corrosion along here so just randomly put some marks on it and take it back over and um, rub it again on the super fine wet paper and um, get it straight. So uh, we can't assume that these are straight. Yeah, it's a big piece of aluminum and you go, oh, that wouldn't, wouldn't be crooked. Oh yeah, absolutely. And um, I'm not shocked on this one because this was running really hot, this engine. Here we are over at the um, granite block. It um, has its uh, serial number and all the specs for it right here on the label. First thing to do is to take a wet towel and make sure that it's spotlessly clean. No grit, no dust on it. Then I take my, I'm using 400 um, you know, wet dry paper. Of course it's wet. So I've run it under the sink. I rinsed it off to make sure that there isn't any debris on the back side of it. And it goes down like this. I'll put this little torn spot over there to the other side. And it sort of sticks down there like that. Not that it stays there perfect, but it's not bad. So here I've got the head. There's a tone here where I can see it actually. It looks like it's it has some marks in it, like it's actually been heated right here. And it definitely has been hot. So this is the spot that uh, I suspect won't touch. And probably right here, because... On my initial pass here, it didn't touch the first time. So this is what I do. It's a little time consuming. It's a bit of a slow process. Um, when I first get going, I, I have to hold the paper because it wants to slide around to the water. And then I will just, under its own weight, I'm not pushing down on it. And I'm just moving it around and around on this wet paper. So, that should be enough to see what I have now um, in the, the markings that are left. Okay, so this is a pretty dark mark right there. So it really didn't touch much there. Uh, there, see it's made them much lighter. Um, so I'm going to uh, dry this off. I'll mark it again. And I'm going to keep going with it until um, until I know that it's flat. I think they made a movie about this one time. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> 
All right, let's have a look and see what we got. Oh, that's nice, 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 nice. Okay, so I'm still not quite happy with it across right here, but it definitely is getting flatter. So right across there. So I'm going to go dry this again, and then I'll uh, mark it and get back at it. Well, it's getting a little, it's getting better. There's just a bit of mark there and it's not touching right there very much. I'm still not happy with it along here either. So during the process, you need to, uh, same thing again, clean the stone. I rinse the paper, both sides, it's clean. And back down we go. And I've remarked it again. Um, it's not near as quick as it looks like. My arms are getting tired, but I got to keep going because this has to be right. But I've certainly gained a lot of ground with it. Um, I'm uh, quite happy with the progress. We have to have a good smooth surface on this. And uh, so could I put it in the milling machine and do it? I could, but the surface I don't think would still be what I want. I would still be uh, in the end finishing it this way. Well, okay, I just caught the edge of the paper here and there's a piece right there. So to get that out, we can't have anything in between here. And oh, what's it looking like so far? Okay, so not touching very well right there and not touching very well right there. So keep going and we'll see where we get to. Ideally you'd want to do this in a figure eight motion, but um, whoops, just caught it on the edge again with the paper. It's just, it's a rather large piece. So I try and keep it even as I can, uh, but at least I know I'm working with a, a super flat finish. This stone is, uh, the spec on the side of it is one down to a ten thousandth, ten thousandth of an inch flat. So uh, that's pretty flat. All right, let's see where we're at. And... Okay, so still not very good right there and not touch very good there. This is improving. It's a little bit of corrosion on it right there. Um, I'm really interested in the ceiling surface around the cylinders is what I'm really interested in. And this little outline here is this, like a stain from the, uh, the rubber O-ring. Um, it's removed it from here, but it's not even taking the marker off very well right here. So this is a, uh, a spot where it's still dished out. So this will be the, uh, the part, probably when this is good, that'll be done. So anyway, I'm just gonna carry on. A piece of 400, I caught it on the edge and of course tore it, so that's the end of that piece. And of course I went to the shelf to get another piece. Nope. So I only had one piece left that was 600. So I'm just gonna put a finish on this with some 600 paper. Um, and I think uh, this is going to be uh, pretty impressive. Um, I hope it is anyway. My arms are going to fall off. All right. Let's have a look and see. Oh, it's like stuck right down. I can't. There we go. It's stuck right on there. And what do we got? Wow. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I love it. There's a little teeny little, like almost stains. I can't even feel that there. And where it was really dished out and low right here, it's all nice and flat along with here. So no, that's that's perfect. Um, no problem to put this head back on the way it is now. Uh, this is what you have to do to do this stuff right. I mean, you look at it and go, yeah, oh yeah, it's all straight. Yeah, sure. Um, 
you have to know that it's straight. What's the downside of just putting it back on the way it was? Well, it could, uh, it could blow a, a head gasket. Uh, it, it, the torque is uneven on it. There's all kinds of things. Uh, the head is designed to be flat and now it's flat. Oh wow, I got dirty. Now, since this is a precision piece of equipment, I have to clean it all off afterwards, uh, make sure that it's spotless. I'm gonna let it um, air dry. Um, and then I have a cover for it that I put over top and uh, so that it can't get damaged. I mean, it's a big piece of, uh, of granite, but you can't put, you can't rest tools on here. You can't put stuff, pile stuff on there. It just has to have a cover on it so it sits. Okay, so we'll let that dry and uh, it'll be uh, all uh, ready for the next time I need it. And then of course you mop up all the water that you spilled all around it too. So here we go. Here's our beautifully refinished cylinder head. Um, this engine has a new piston in it. That's the one that was um, almost seized because of this loop, this loop it had in here that didn't let any uh, uh, air out of the cylinder head. Uh, of course, that was evident that how hot it had got by, this is a pretty good piece of, uh, of aluminum here and it was pretty crooked. So anyway, carrying on, all new uh, O-rings, new seals, and we'll put the head on. I'll install all the bolts in it and I'll get it all back together. Just carry on and finish up this engine. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, spend a little time with me. Uh, we'll go over this uh, process of uh, how do we make sure the head is straight? How do I fix it? And uh, when, it's, when it's not straight, thanks so much for uh, tuning in today and spending this time with me. Like, share, subscribe, all those other things. Anyway, thanks. Have a great day. Bye now.